Welcome to my unboxing video. I've had a lot of this stuff for several weeks and I thank everyone who sent this stuff to me in advance. I'm very excited to dig into it. Uh, so I guess without further delay, let's unbox. Now I wanna open up this one first because it's from lovely Robin Gustus. It's our friend Robin Gustus, Hi, Troy. Robin. Robin is one of the most kindest, most supporting people. Um, every time we do anything at the shop, fundraising, anything, Robin was always there helping out and she's been a huge supporter of Dearly Departed Tours. And she sent, yeah, <laughs> oh, it's a cooler bag. It's the Colonel Sack. Oh my gosh, look at this. How cool is that? It's a Kentucky Fried Chicken cooler bag. I gotta just rip it open. Robin! Oh, look at the, oh God, it's the Colonel. <laughs> nice. What is Robin saying here? She's so nice. Oh, hello there. Dear Sweet Scott, you are the kindest, but oh, very nice, very generous, very, I've ever, thank you for the key tags and the swag. Uh, thank you, hope all is well in Palm Springs. I miss my dearly departed experiences. We miss you too. Love to you and Troy Robin. Robin, you're so kind, thank you so much. You are, um, love this. Thank you. Good chicken. Okay. Now, I know this is a an eBay purchase, but I'm so excited about it. So eventually, I'm going to do something with this, uh, something having to do with this movie, because I've collected stuff in this movie for a long time, and I saw this, and I was like, no, I've got to have that. This will be background for whenever we do something on this movie. It's from the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, 1978 movie, which had one of the coolest logos ever. Look at that logo. And um, look at that. I would love to find out who some of these people are and interview them. Sandy Farina, I met her, she, I drove her around. I'd like to know who these people were in the background. Craterface was one of the dancers in this. And uh, I'm very excited about to do something with this because I love that, who's that? Star Guard and uh, Diane Fine, uh, Stein, but Diane, Diane Steinberg from Detroit. Her mother was Martha Jean the Queen. So, uh, and Bee Gees, Captain Dimple's favorite group. So we'll definitely do something with Sgt. Pepper in the future, but I wanted to show you that. Now, my friend Marlene, my Rocky Horror friend from Detroit, Marlene, sends us, I already cheated, I opened some of these. That, not opened them, opened them, I don't know what they are in them, but. Uh, oh, the Queen Mary, look at that. The book on the Queen Mary, the RMS, the Royal Mail Ship, not the, not the HMS, Her Majesty's Ship. What's this? The NSS is Steamship. Her HMS is Her Majesty's Ship, and RMS is Royal Mail Ship. Um, the Queen Mary, which has just been they sunk a ton of money into it, and they're gonna restore it or open it as something good. Oh look, oh tiki's. Hello, Scott. I uh, hope this finds you well, sending this book, which you may already have. Sorry, I do not. Uh, I really like this Images of America series. I agree, these are these are really fun book. Please let, please let me know if you're looking for anything. I may be able to find it. Take care and best to you and Troy. Oh, thank you, Marlene. My Rocky Horror friend, my old magenta pal. Rocky Horror does not usurp teenage sexuality. It's a quote I'll never forget. Thank you, Marlene. All right, I uh, don't know, I have no idea what this is. Okay, Scott, here is, oh, look at this. This is a memorial card for Louise Fletcher. Remember when you came to meet her at the Hollywood show at the, at the LAX Western, I was her booking agent. Oh, okay. Uh, well, for over 10 years, she was a great friend who I miss dearly. All the best. Well, thank you. This is um, very, very cool. I Louise Fletcher, because I spoke to her about uh, the Karen Carpenter movie that she played, Mrs. Carpenter. Calvin, thank you so much, Calvin, for sending this. Look at that. Won the Academy Award for... One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. 
Wow. This is cool. I was just going through my uh, my funeral uh, booklets, memorial booklets today, and uh, I'm looking forward to this. Thank you. This will actually fit with the Karen Carpenter that we're doing soon, Mike and I. So thank you very much, Paolo. Uh, this, let's see. This is a mystery gift. I don't know who sent this. I don't know. It came without a signature or a return. And... The Movie Land Wax Museum and the Palace of Living Art Viewmaster Slide. Viewmaster Slide. Palm Springs and California Missions. Wow. I wonder if this has any like celebrity stuff in it. Joshua Tree Monument, Date Harvesting, the Tennis Club, Palm Canyon, El Mirador. Hey, this is cool. And Movie Land Wax Museum. We're due for a visit. We gotta go visit our lovely friend Cynthia again with her wonderful wax museum in her house. Wow, this is cool. Mystery person, thank you for these. I have to get I have to dig out my Viewmasters. I put them away when I uh, when I did my Walton's video, but I'll have to find them again. Movie Land and Palm Springs. Thank you. Thank you, anonymous donor. All right. See, I've opened them, but I haven't opened them because it takes a lot of time. Yes. This actually was something I chased down on eBay uh, because we have this gentleman in our house. This is a commemorative Ringling Brothers hat that says I was a guest at the wedding of Mishu, the world's smallest man. And it's a, it's a uh, ticket stub too from the event. I was a star alone. So somebody, maybe this had to do with something that, uh, who got picked to be on stage or something. But uh, Mishu, who we, who we have in the closet right now, um, this he got married as a publicity stunt uh, at the circus with another little person. And, uh, and this is from that ceremony. So somebody's hat that they wore at the ceremony. And a, and a coupe, a, uh, what do you call it, a uh, ticket stuff too. So yeah, this Mishu stuff is really kind of hard to, uh, to come by. So, uh, and this is, it's dated and everything. But it looks like somebody, whoever, whoever had this, like, got picked to do something and then they commemorated it by gluing the ticket stub to this so it's sunday the 20th of i can't tell what month 1977. so this is cool this is this is going to go well in the mishu collection when whenever we reopen if we ever reopen we will uh that'll go on display with mishu that's that's a cool little artifact Scott and Troy, Happy New Year and Joy. Ken in Georgia. I hope you like the Christmas card I sent you. I did. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. So look at that. What's this? Tavern on the Green. Oh, that's cool. New York. And the Pleasant Pheasant in uh, D.C. Windsor Castle. This is cool. Where the Queen is now buried. Well, in a crypt. Wow, these are cool. Thank you very much, Ken and Georgia. You're very kind. I wonder if that's the gallery that caught on fire. One of these did. The Queen's Presence Chamber. Wow, this, this is cool. I'll definitely delve into this. But uh, the chapel at Windsor Castle is where the royals... Uh, Queen Mother, Princess Margaret, the Queen, Prince Philip, they're all in there now. So thank you, thank you, Ken and Georgia. Very cool. Very cool. This is from our friend Lance, who never fails to send some really unusual stuff. Edie Sedgwick was overvalued. That sounds like something they'd say on laughing. Hi, Annie. 
thing. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that's cool. That is very cool. Does it work? Well, look me over. I don't think it does. I don't want to force it. This is very cool, though. We have a really nice display for Liberace in our uh, when we when when we were open, and we will again. But this is very very cool. I love it. I don't want to. I'm not going to force it. So this is very very cool. Lance, you find the coolest stuff. Bring this over here. Stiller went through some serious changes, didn't she? God, what year is this? Because remember, we had a couple of her old albums. And this is 1967, February of 67. Phil Dill, Alan King. Chic in the Saddle. that vanquish remember that with a 10 cent coupon pell mell magnavox these are the ads are so <gasps> everyone's first experience with debt collection truth or consequences twilight zone wow this is i love going through these things thank you lance Thank you, Lance. What else did you send us? Uh, Snackers Confidential. Ask your viewers if they remember these donuts. Sweet and swinging donuts. Not sure if they were on the East Coast. Or if they were an East Coast thing. Yeah, this was definitely not something we knew. Sweet and swinging donuts. Packs of straws. We had straws like that. Tasty. That was a bread. Something from Bloomies. <laughs> Best wishes, Scott Thorson. <laughs> oh, look at this. What? The Liberace Collection? Oh my god, they're soaps. They're Liberace soaps. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, they smell good too. Wow. So you can lather up with Liberace. <laughs> <laughs> they smell good, don't yeah, they? They smell weird. Yeah, they don't smell bad at all. Yeah, I wonder what the year what the year is on these things. <laughs> You're funny. Since Lance, you find the wildest stuff. The There's not a year. Oh, right there. Sandalwood French Miller soaps, three bars, net weight twelve ounces. Liberace collection. No, there's no date on it. That's crazy. This is cool too. It's got the uh oh, yeah. huh. I'm sure they're like on eBay or something. Like yeah. Wow. This is my friend Steve uh used to work for Liberace and we're gonna take a walk around Liberace's house soon where he died. He promised to do that with me and I hope we'll get a chance to do that uh soon. Wow, that's yeah, that is really special. Oh, look at that. Crayola crayons. He meant, I mentioned that they they don't smell good anymore. Okay. And he goes, I have some of the ones that do. And he promised to send some. Vintage, son? Oh, they do smell good. They do. <laughs> it's like heroin. Actually, they need to be in the box, you know? That's where you need the, the whole powerful... That smells. Yeah. You can smell them. And look at that, a Movie Land, Movie Land Wax Museum. This is like a cool, oh, yeah. with the Bonanza statues. Oh, from here, it looked like the honeybees for a second. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael Landon, you need us. Oh, and matchbooks, too. We love our matchbooks.
I finally, I've got to organize our matchbooks to get through these things. With the Leslie Linder's London Club. That's something I've never heard of. Leslie Linder's London Club. The Cafe Swiss on Rodeo Drive. Tractons on La Cienega. 3560 South. That's got to be Rodeo. That's over by, um, on the way to the airport. With ample parking, the smokehouse, that's still there. And the Beverly Hills Hotel, very nice. I've only been in there once or twice. Wow, cool. Lance, you sent cool stuff. I see you sent the letter, and I will read this. I will read this. I will, I will read this a little bit later. So thank you very much. Best wishes, Scott Thornson. Thank you so much. Oh, you're fabulous. And lastly, this came in today. And this is from our lovely friend, Michelle, in Illinois. I did that on purpose. And she promised to send me something really, really cool. And we, we've been friends with Michelle for many years. And she was one of the first people to see the Mansfield car before it was even on display. Um, spent a nice day at Disneyland with her. Had a couple of uh, dinners out with her. And she knows, well, she has the same obsessions as we. And she knew, she said, you're going to love this. She said it's going to be something very cool. So, is it a wig? It's a wig. <laughs> Let's see. There's two things in here. Oh wow! Check that out. Whoa! We know what that is. That is the garage of Cielo Drive. Ooh. That's the garage. Remember, there's those pictures of Paul Revere and the Raiders standing on that stair. Wow, this is wild. And there's a swimming pool. Okay, that comes, de that comes separately. Look at that. And so this has got to be... Let's put it over here. Uh, this is super, super delicate. Look at that. Wow, God. Whoever, what kind of brain put this stuff together? The guest house. There's the wishing well. This is a model of Cielo Drive. Holy heck. Okay, I think. All right, I think. Tell me it's electric. Oh my God, it's electric. <laughs> okay, so it's a little. So we just had a, a technical flare up for some reason. I opened this up and the camera went completely black. So it got me an opportunity actually, gave me the opportunity to get a, a nine volt battery. But God, look at this thing. So there's a little, I guess, is it a Sharon and a Roman? Look at this. Wow, look at the detail. Wait a second. It's If it lights up, let's see what happens here. <laughs> this is insane. Look at that. So you can see through the window. You can see through the window. Look at the detail that somebody did. Somebody went and did all this stuff. Wow. That is wild. So this this it had a little bit of damage from shipping, but nothing that can't be dealt with. 
This must be for the roof. Look at that. This is something else. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. It means a lot that you you send me this stuff because you know I'll I'll dig it and I, I love sharing it with everybody. And this is <laughs> some supremely cool stuff. We thought we were done, but we're not done. Just before we uh, we put this video out, more things showed up. So this is a postscript PS to the other video, and. I'm excited to see what's going on here. Again, I had, to, I had to practice open these things first because, and I know what this is because the gent who sent it to me forewarned me, forewarned me, told me excitedly that this was gonna be showing up. And look at that. <laughs> Liberace in concert and in all his glory, two album sets. I don't see where this, uh, where the concert was coming from, where he was performing. Thank you, Steve Myers sent this to me. He knew I'd love it, and we, Troy and I, will can't wait to listen to this. Liberace, to hear Liberace in concert is to appreciate him as a total entertainer. I really regret. I could have, I could have got backstage passes and I could, could have met him, but I wasn't at that point in my life where I would have been okay with that. I always kind of mocked him, and it's not really fair. But I'm very much looking forward to this. Thank you very much, Steve. Now, Christian, actually, I'll do this one next. I, uh, I have no idea what this is. I didn't start open this. One. Look at that. Like butter. <gasps> Fool me once. me twice <laughs> this is like one of those russian dolls was they like called tea dolls or something oh my gosh the dolly dimples weight reducing plan by celesta dolly dimples geyer oh my gosh this <laughs> Yes. I thought you would appreciate this. Thank you, Tina. Tina, Tina H. I would appreciate this. Dolly Dimples. Yes, that was me. I lost 401 pounds in one year. I now weigh 118 pounds. Dolly Dimples solved a problem common to millions of Americans. Overweight. Dolly's problem, however, was greater than anyone else's. She was a sideshow fat lady who weighed 555 pounds. God bless Dolly Dimples. A trim, 122 pounds. She is shown here trimming one of her Florida orange trees. Present day, 122 pound Dolly can do anything, even have fun on a golf course. Dolly Dimples. Thank you, Tina. This is awesome. And thank you, everyone who sent me things. If, oh, Christian. Gosh, I forgot about this. My buddy Christian, who has grave time. Um, he's, a, he's a grave hunter, and he's always sent me such cool things. And Christian sent me this. It came in the mail. I haven't opened it yet. And... He always sends me cool stuff. Oh, Grave Time. There's Christian's uh, YouTube channel. He's big on Bigfoot, too. Let's see. I heard this on Coast to Coast AM and thought of you. Enjoy your pal, Christian. And this is Wiretapping Marilyn Monroe and Sinatra. Interesting. I will give this a listen. Christian. So if I, this is my address, you guys. If you want a free Death Egg sticker, send me a, uh, an empty an envelope with a stamp on it addressed to yourself to this nice clearly printed thank you christian address and i'll send you a free death egg sticker and this is my address book uh, this is my address so if you want to send anything my way please feel free and everyone seriously i have such nice friends thank you very much thank you <laughs> You heard me. Let's say goodbye to Scott, okay? We'll see you later, Scott. Bye-bye.